So there's a couple of things in uh, chapter seven. So what is the total surplus on the market? Remember, we'll look at the consumer surplus, we'll look at the producer surplus, what is going to be total surplus on the market? So I'm just gonna take um, you know space and put it over here that remember, we talk about consumer surplus, this is willingness to pay minus the price. Producer surplus, this is price minus the cost. So therefore, total surplus on the market, this is consumer surplus plus producer surplus. I'm going to put it over here that total surplus equals consumer surplus. Remember, consumer surplus, this is willingness to pay minus the price. Plus, remember, we, we're trying to figure out what is the total surplus. This is consumer surplus plus producer surplus. Producer surplus, this is price minus the cost. So remember, this is consumer surplus, this is producer surplus. Do you see, even without opening the brackets, do you see that price with negative and price with positive? I'm going to simplify this formula. So price is going to cancel other, to cancel each other out. Therefore, total surplus is equal willingness to pay minus the cost. So if you have a problem on the test, you can find consumer surplus, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you can find total surplus like separately, find consumer surplus first, find producer surplus second, and then add them up and that's going to be your total surplus. Or you can take willingness to pay minus the cost and it's also going to give you total surplus. And you see how they refer on the on the exam, they're going to refer the total surplus is equal value to buyers. So this value to buyers is the same as willingness to pay minus cost to sellers minus the cost. That's what we talk about. So this is the total surplus on the market. Remember guys, again, consumer surplus, this is what benefit customer getting from participating on the market and producer surplus, what benefit seller getting from participating on the market. Total surplus is going to be consumer and producers a kind of, you know, gain from participating on the market together. Now, we need to ask a question. In what situation our total surplus is going to be maximized? Okay, what kind of condition do we have or do we need to have on the market in order our total surplus kind of to be the highest one? And the answer is going to be if we're working in the market economy, okay, then total surplus is going to be maximized by bringing the highest value to buyers and bringing the highest value to sellers. So what does it mean? How does it work? Um, you know, efficient allocation of resources, you know, in our economy is going to maximize our total surplus. And it says over here, if the goods are consumed by the buyers who value them the most and goods are produced by the seller um, who can produce them with the, you know, with the lowest cost of production. And how is that? going to look on our graph, it's going to pretty much look like this. Okay, I think I can do maybe one more. Okay, so pretty much when our market in equilibrium, when our market in equilibrium, then consumer and producer surplus is going to be the highest one. Okay, if the price of the product is going to be anything other than equilibrium, then consumer and producer surplus is not going to be maximized. Remember guys, what brings our market to this equilibrium? What brings our market to this equilibrium where at a certain price, our quantity supply is equal to quantity demanded? Invisible hand, remember? So once again, in your PowerPoints, there is like a lot of explanation why it is so. It just, you don't have to go into those details. It's going to be very, very confusing for you. Just remember, the total surplus is going to be maximized on the market Okay, when our market is in equilibrium, consumer surplus is going to be the highest and producer surplus is going to be the highest. When we reach the point where at certain price, quantity supply is equal to quantity demanded. And remember, this is when invisible hand work in the market. Okay, this is not when the government dictate the price of the product, but this is when invisible hand is actually, you know, a kind of uh, working its way out on our market. Um, so just a little reminder that, uh, you know, Adam Smith, remember he wrote the uh, book, The Wealth of the Nation, 
nations and he introduced this um you know invisible hand once again where um you know a kind of interaction of buyers and sellers are going to determine that price from the market and this is once again where total surplus is going to be maximized you do need to know this for for the test and